you guys. If you've been around my channel for a while since the makeup doing days, you will have seen me look like this several times. But if you've just started coming around since I started doing my thrifting videos, you may not have seen me look like this before. I just got out of the shower and I was like, oh my gosh, I did not have anything prepared for a video to go up this weekend and I'm going to be gone for the weekend having a really fun time with my sister and my nieces and my husband. And so um, I was like, I wanna get something out for you guys. And I already have some clips filmed so I just needed an intro. I could have put makeup on. I could have done my hair. But guess what? I My niece is coming over and we're having dinner and then we're going to bed early because we're leaving early in the morning. So why in the world would I get all ready just to film this slight little intro? So hopefully you don't mind. This is real life. And I think that's the beauty of having this channel. It's not my job. It's my hobby. It's something I enjoy doing. So I don't feel pressured to have to like look spot on all the time. And let's be real. This is real life. So... I thought it would be fun to start a little series here where I critique some of my outfits that I've been wearing. Um, to be fully transparent, I leave my house probably twice a week, every once in a while, three days a week, most of the time, one time a week. That's just the reality. I am a homebody. I love being home. And so unless I have like different things to go to, like watching my nieces do different things or um, I go to Bible study on Tuesday mornings go to church, um, that kind of stuff, then I'm not really leaving the house. <laughs> but I love clothes. And so when I get dressed and go somewhere, I like to record my videos or record my outfits, not record my video. And um, then it's a good way to be able to look back and be like, how did I feel in that outfit? How do I feel about the way I look, like when I look at it on camera, how do I feel about how it looks and that kind of thing. And that helps me keep in mind like the kind of pieces that I want to maybe incorporate into my wardrobe or things that I want to eliminate from my wardrobe or things like that. So that is what I did. And I am sorry, but I am cracking up. Whenever my hair is wet like this and like I'm pushing it back, all I can think of is Charlize Theron's, I don't know if that's how you say her name, but um, her character in Monster, which is based on a true story. But the way the woman's hair was, if you know what I'm talking about, Put a jack-o'-lantern uh, little emoji down in the comments for me, like monster Halloween, you know. Um, so I know that you are tracking with me because <laughs> that's all I can think of every time my hair is wet and I push it back like this. Anyway, so I thought I would go ahead and show you some outfits that I've worn lately. This actually is starting because I've been doing this for a while. I sort of just record things as I'm going places. And I have a couple outfits. One is all the way back from the end of July. And so, um, maybe two of them are, I think two of them might be from the end of July. And then into, you will see the very last outfit I'll show you in this grouping. You'll see my fall decor is out. Um, so you'll know that's more recent. And then I have a bunch of outfits then that will be for the next one. But I thought we'd start, you know, with like, I think I did like five outfits maybe. And, um, or maybe six, five or six. And, um, yeah, just hear what you guys think of this idea of me kind of showing you what I wore. And a big part of this for me too is to help you realize fashion is, what you wear is not that serious. Like your style is your style. Nobody can tell you you're out of style because your style is yours and it's in because that's what you like to wear. It doesn't matter if clothes are from a different time when they were popular or whatever. If you still like wearing it, it's your style and there's nothing wrong with that. So don't let anybody tell you what you should or shouldn't be wearing or like, oh, that's so, you know, last season or don't wear white after Labor Day. Who made up these dumb rules? Like, guess what? People and you're a people. So you can make up your own rules. <laughs> and so I just wanted to show you like, there are going to be some outfits that when I look at them, I'm like, ew, I don't like this or that about it. And that's okay. Like, it's not a big deal. Now I know I don't want to put those things together or I didn't feel great in that outfit that day or whatever. And that's a fun way to be able to hone in on your own style and what makes you feel good and what you feel like you look good in. And it doesn't matter if other people think you look good in it or not. If you think you do, that is all that matters. And so that is kind of what I'm hoping with this little series that I'm starting to be able to kind of go over some of the types of things that I like to wear or things maybe I experimented with. How do I feel about it once I see them back or once I wore them that day? How did I feel in them? And um, kind of just go from there. So I think it might be a fun little thing to do. And I look forward to hearing you guys' feedback down in the comments on if you enjoy it or not. Um, if you don't, then I'll only do the next one that I have the outfits ready for. But but I, I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be fun. So let's check out what I wore and how I think it looked. 
here we are, outfit number one. This was the end of July. Um, these pants I got from Timu, and I love them. I know they're not everyone's favorite, but I really like them. And they're just so comfortable, so lightweight. So for in the July heat, um, they're absolutely perfect. I also got those sandals from Timu, and I wear them a ton. So I cannot say enough good things about some of the clothing pieces I've gotten from Timu. Now, some things have been a miss, like I will totally admit that, but I feel like these pants have been a total hit for me because I've worn them a few times and I've definitely worn the sandals so much. These are ones I just got this year. You'll be seeing some styles that I got last year and wore last year and this year, but these ones I just got this year. And then that shirt I have had for a very long time, I think I got it from like TJ Maxx and it's just a little crop with like a little knot in the front kind of a detail that I think is really cute. And then that is my um, Uniqlo little crossbody bag there that I absolutely love. I got the black one and I also got one that's like a kind of a natural kind of light tan color. Love it. But I love this outfit. I will wear it next year too. Outfit number two. This was also the end of July and these are actually some overalls that I got from Timu last year. They did shrink when I had washed them, but it just made them a little more of a crop style, which I was fine with. Um, I would like for them to fit a little looser, but right now on this body, they just don't, and that's okay. And so I absolutely love those. And then again, there are those same sandals from Timu. I wore them a ton, and I get compliments on them all the time. The shirt that is under it is a little Dickies kind of cropped t-shirt. I got it in um, a thrifting well, I didn't get it in a thrifting video. <laughs> I got it on a thrift trip that I did with my niece that I put, the, I did the video, um, I put it up. It was my last video actually. So I will link it up in the cards for you right here so that you can check it out and see all of the other awesome pieces I got. But I feel good in this outfit. I feel cute. That's all that matters. I will wear that again. Now this was a dress that I got when I was um, going to garage sales this year while I was at my church camp. And I paid 50 cents for this dress. I'm pretty sure the brand, I'm, I can't remember what the brand is, but I'm pretty sure it's a Kohl's brand. But I love there's like the little ties up on the side that cinch it. You can, um, yeah, I'm kind of showing there. You can pull them in to cinch, you know, if you want it more or less. I love the bust line. I did actually pin it because it was a little more uh, revealing than I care to be. <laughs> but um, you could always wear like a little tiny, like a bandeau kind of um, underneath it or something too, if you wanted to do that. And I love a maxi dress. They are just so simple and easy. They feel so good on, they're nice and airy and light. This I actually wore to my son's, no, my husband's <laughs> aunt's 84th birthday party and I felt really cute in it and those sandals are also from Timu I have them in that white color and a tan color and I get complimented every time I wear those too You guys I'm telling you some of my favorite sandals I've got in the past two years and I got those last year are from Timu But I will definitely wear this dress again 50 cents. Yeah Now there's those pants again. Sorry for the people who don't like them <laughs> But this is just proof that I do enjoy wearing them. That day I was going thrifting and I just was having a day doing what I felt like doing. No, I was not going thrifting. I went to Target. There's actually a video about that where I do like a whole try on thing in the dressing room. So I will link that up in the cards here for you to check out. That was a really fun day. But so again, those pants from Timu, that little vest, um, it's from Timu also. I mean, how cute is that? And I just have a little tiny, like a little, um, crop tank underneath it. And then those sandals, those are also from Timu. And those are the ones I got last year. I have a black pair and a white pair, just the same. And again, get compliments every time I wear them. I absolutely loved this outfit. I felt really cute in it. I get compliments on it when I was out shopping. Like, I mean, it. don't wear things to get compliments, but when you do, dang, it feels good. When you're already feeling like, oh, I like this outfit. And then somebody compliments it, you're like, yeah. Okay, this outfit was, uh, I'm just going to say it's meh. Um, we were going out to eat with our friends, and it was like the first kind of chilly evening. And so I wasn't exactly sure how to dress because it had been warmer during the day, but it was getting chilly, and I wasn't sure like where we were going was by the water. So um, these are just kind of like a wide leg crap pant, but those are my favorite, all oh, those vans. I absolutely love those. Got those thrifted from Poshmark. I am a huge fan of them. 
The t-shirt I thrifted also, it was, um, it's just an old navy t-shirt. And then that oversized like jacket, it's a very lightweight kind of denim material. It's from H&M and I got it a couple years ago on our annual girl shopping trip that we go on every November. And um, I wear it a lot. It's just a great throw on over top of things. And I felt like it just paired good with that. I was like, okay, if I take this off, I've just got a simple like kind of cute pair of jeans and tee outfit with the fun funky shoes and then if I put it on I've got the jacket so it was a pretty simple outfit not one of my favorites but I'd wear it again but it's not my favorite this outfit I actually wore to bible study on a Tuesday morning and I loved it my best friend Anne is a pastor at our church and she actually teaches the bible study and she's the one who I was going out to eat with in the last outfit but um she was complimenting my shoes because she's a shoe girl. We like, we are like so different in almost every way, but we both have a serious love of shoes. And especially when it comes to like sneaker type shoes, we have very similar taste in those. But um, I loved this outfit. That shirt, you will have seen it in a Thrifted Look for Less challenge from June, I believe it was. I'll link that also if you haven't seen that, want to check it out, where I styled it several different ways, but it's a linen shirt, J. Crew, that I. I think it was J. Crew that I thrifted. Love it. I've had that shirt from Target for forever and those pants for forever. And I felt dang cute in this outfit. What do you guys think? I hope you enjoyed this. Mm -hmm.